Primary flight displays are located on the captain's and first officer's instrument panels. The PFD information is generated from information received from an EFIS ICAS interface unit, EIU, and a flight management computer, FMC. The PFD displays all parameters necessary for flight path control. Each indication will now be discussed in detail. The PFD displays flight mode at the top. Across the center are airspeed, attitude, altitude, and vertical speed. Heading is displayed on the bottom of the PFD. The flight mode indication is covered in autopilot. Let's first look at the airspeed indication. The airspeed tape is located on the left of the PFD. The moving tape displays current airspeed, airspeed limits, and recommended speeds. Current airspeed is always displayed in the box at the center of the airspeed tape. The current mock is displayed below the airspeed tape. The selected air data computer provides this information. Command speed in knots or mock is displayed at the top of the airspeed tape and by an indicator on the tape. The Autopilot Flight Director System or Selected Flight Management Computer provides this information. Maximum speed is displayed as red boxes. This indicates the maximum speed determined by gear or flaps or VMO limits. Maximum speed in this example is 348 knots. The stall warning computer or selected air data computer provides this information. Maximum maneuvering speed is displayed as an amber line. This indicates a maneuver margin to buffet. Maximum maneuvering speed in this example is 340 knots. The stall warning computer or selected air data computer provides this information. Minimum maneuvering speed is displayed as an amber line. This indicates the maneuver margin to stick shaker or low speed buffet in a 20 to 30 degree bank. Minimum maneuvering speed in this example is 123 knots. The stall warning computer through the selected flight management computer provides the information. This margin is defaulted to 1.2 G's per FAA guidelines and 1.3 G's per CAA or JAR guidelines. The margin may be manually selected between 1.2 or 1.3 G's also. Minimum speed is displayed as red boxes. This indicates the airspeed at which stick shaker or low speed buffet occurs. Minimum speed in this example is 111 knots. The stall warning computer through the selected flight management computer provides this information. Recommended flap maneuvering speeds for specific flap settings will be displayed below 20,000 feet. The current flap setting speed and next retracted flap setting speed will be displayed. The landing reference speed is also displayed. The selected flight management computer provides this information. If the landing reference speed is below the displayed tape speed values, an REF and the reference speed is displayed. A speed trend indication displays the rate of acceleration or deceleration. A longer arrow denotes a larger rate. The tip of the green arrow indicates predicted airspeed in 10 seconds. The air data computer and IRS provide this information. Takeoff reference speeds V1 and VR as selected on the FMS CDU are displayed for takeoff. V2 is not displayed as text. 
When no takeoff reference speeds are selected, a no V speed flag is displayed. When the V speeds are selected, the flag will be replaced by V1 and the V1 speed if the speed value is above the displayed tape values. For the airspeed indication when no computed information is received or the information is determined to be invalid, the respective indicator is not displayed on the PFD. In some cases, a flag is displayed. The selected speed flag is displayed when selected speed information is invalid. The speed limit flag is displayed when maximum or minimum speed has no computed or invalid information. The mock flag is displayed when mock information is invalid. A speed flag is displayed if airspeed information is determined to be invalid. The airspeed tape is not displayed and all other airspeed flags are removed. Now let's discuss the attitude indication. The attitude indication is located in the center of the PFD. The airplane symbol indicates the position of the airplane relative to the horizon line. A pitch scale is also displayed. The bank indicator and scale are located at the top of the attitude indication. The selected IRS provides pitch and bank information. A part of the bank indicator is the slip indicator. The box below the triangle will displace to indicate a slip. A pitch limit indicator is displayed when flaps are extended. The pitch limit indicator, or PLI, indicates the pitch attitude at which the stick shaker would occur for existing flight conditions. The stall warning computer provides this information. Flight director commands are displayed on the attitude indication. This information is provided by the selected flight control computer. Wide slope and deviation is displayed on the right of the attitude indication. Localizer and deviation is displayed on the bottom of the attitude indication. The diamond indicates glide slope or localizer position relative to the airplane. An ILS receiver provides this information. The expanded localizer display symbols represent one half dot deflection. The expanded scale is activated when close to the localizer center line to provide a more sensitive display. Excess deviation from the glide slope or localizer at low altitudes will cause a deviation alert. The scale changes to yellow and the diamond flashes. Scale and pointer are removed when the approach receiver is not in use. Marker beacon enunciation is displayed on the attitude indication when passing a beacon. IM indicates passing an inner marker or airways beacon. MM indicates passing a middle marker beacon. And OM indicates passing an outer marker beacon. For the attitude indication when no computed information is received or the information is determined to be invalid, the respective indicator is not displayed.